Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, the beauty of mathematics, part 63. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Also, I am going to Bitcoin Amsterdam next month. So it'll be my first time going to one of the Bitcoin conferences not in the United States. So I hope to see a lot of you guys there. I should be giving a talk, I think, at some point during the conference. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Bitcoin and the entire asset class in general has started off October with a pretty good start. If you guys remember, we talked about you sort of snidely that maybe we would see a green day in October. And sure enough, on October 1st, Bitcoin went up 4%. So, so far, so good in October. Remember, normally the pattern in post-election years is a high in August, a low in September, or plus or minus a couple of weeks, followed by a rally into the market cycle top in the fourth quarter of the year. So, so far, so good. Uh, that seems to be playing out. The thing that we should look at, though, is as of now, within the asset class, we're currently about 7 to 8% below the fair value logarithmic regression trend line, which, as we know, is a monotonically increasing function. Uh, we still stay just below that fair value. And the reason, of course, is because the altcoin market has not really participated in the bull market in the same way that Bitcoin has, right? We've seen Bitcoin dominance do pretty, pretty well for the entire cycle. Uh, we're even starting to see Bitcoin dominance pick up once again. Although I know that's not a popular view, uh, dominance has been slowly trending up, you know, the last few weeks, and it should continue to trend up through the month of October. Okay, so watch for that to continue. Generally speaking, the asset class goes through periods of overvaluation and undervaluation. And right now, you can still see we're just below that fair value. And normally, when you get these spikes above the fair value, that's when you have your alt season, right, that everyone waits for. My general thought process for the time being is that Bitcoin should outperform most of the altcoin market. And that's my story. And I, I generally am sticking to it. But I mean, it really does go to show you how the cycle it has been historically somewhat predictable. We've had the same thing for years and years and years. We published this indicator back in 2019. And, you know, we had a spike above the fair value in 2021 and then back down over here. Very similar to all the prior cycles that we've seen. And so my guess is that it'll play out in a similar way by the end of this cycle. You hopefully get a final spike into you know, sort of the 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 final top for the cycle. And then everyone says this time is different and that altcoins will keep on rallying. Uh, and then eventually we just go back to being undervalued again. Again, most of the time we are, we do spend undervalued, right? Most of the time we just occasionally spike above it. And then we spend a while just sort of bleeding back down to it. So again, as of, as of October 2nd, normally we do these videos on the first of the month, but this one's on the second of the month because yesterday I feel like I need to do the government shutdown video. Generally speaking, you know, we've been around this fair value for many, many years now. Um, because it hasn't really spiked, it's also led to sort of risk levels for Bitcoin that are more moderate and not as high as they normally are at this point in the, uh, in the cycle. Uh, so we'll see how it shapes up for the rest of the year. Hopefully Bitcoin... Hopefully the strength by Bitcoin can continue um, throughout the month of October. And we'll do another video on, on that, of course, uh, probably tomorrow where we talk more just about, about Bitcoin. But that's my general thought process. I mean, right now, the total market cap, the entire asset class, about $4.1 trillion. The fair value is around $4.4 trillion. I do think we are heading to $10 trillion, uh, within, you know, probably within a few years, um, Plus or minus, not not by this year, right? I think it'll still take a few years. I think we are heading to 10 trillion, plus or minus a few trillion. And as we go to sleep at night, we cannot help but wonder what's a few trillion dollars among friends.